Hello everyone, welcome to my class and today we are going to discuss about structure of fungal cell. So as we know, fungus is a eukaryotic cell. So it exhibits a distinct cell wall, a well-developed cytoplasm and nucleus. But the fungal cells may be uninucleate, binucleate or multinucleate in structure. Uninucleate cell means in a particular cell, a single nucleus is present. By nucleate means in a particular cell, two nuclei are present. And multinucleate means in a particular cell, multiple nuclei are present. In multiple nuclei condition, the cell may be set in coenocytic condition. So, during multiple nucleate condition, if there is no partition wall or septa is present, so the cell may be set in coenocytic condition. In dinucleate condition, two nuclei are present in a particular cell. It may be of two types that is heterokaryotic or homokaryotic type. In heterokaryotic condition, two different type of nuclei are present and in homokaryotic condition, two similar type of nuclei are present. As we discussed in the previous class, this is the heterokaryotic condition, this is the homokaryotic condition and this is the multinucleate condition and this is the uninucleate condition. Let's move to our next point that as we discussed that fungi are eukaryotic cell so a well developed nucleus is present. So the nucleus contain chromatin body which is surrounded by the nuclear envelope. It is the main character of eukaryotic cells that is the nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear envelope. So in the fungal cell the cytoplasm is colorless but various color fungi are found in nature. So the color of the fungus is depend upon certain pigments which is present in the cell wall. So the pigments that decide the color of the fungus is present in the cell wall. The next point in fungal cells various irregular vacuole are present and in higher fungus a centrally placed large vacuole is present and the cytoplasm of the fungus contain glycogen enzymes and oil drops. As we know glycogen and oil drops are the reserve food material for fungi. As we know fungi is a eukaryotic cell so it contains various membrane bound organelles such as mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and ribosome and here the ribosome is 70S type. As we know fungi is a heterotrophic organism so here chlorophyll is absent which is responsible for the photosynthesis. Then the cell membrane of fungi contains egosterol that replaces the cholesterol found in animal cells. So you have to know that fungus is a eukaryotic cell. The cell may be uninucleate, binucleate or multinucleate in condition. And the nucleus which contains the chromatin body is surrounded by a nuclear envelope. And the cytoplasm is colorless and it contains many big irregular vacuoles. And in higher fungi, a centrally placed large vacuole is found. And the cytoplasm of the fungi contain glycogen enzymes and oil droplets and glycogen and oil droplets are the reserve food material of fungi. Then um, as a eukaryotic cell it may contain various membrane bound organelles. So it contains mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and ribosomes and the ribosome is 70s type and it lacks or devoid 
chlorophyll so it may be called as a chlorophyllous in nature so fungi is a a chlorophyllous organism then its cell membrane contain egosterol instead of cholesterol in case of animal